when you guys are looking at this problem. Again, oh, all right, well this one's a little bit, maybe a little bit more confusing, so I'll give you guys a tip on this one. Or I'll show you the shortcut for this one. So in this case, we have a B and we have an H, right? So we know we have to factor out the B. Now this one might not be as fun to factor out because you can easily factor out a two from two X. That's just gonna leave you with X. But how do you divide out a two from one? Yeah, you just make it a fraction, really. And if that doesn't make sense to you, just go back with multiplication. Two times X is two X. Two times one half is one. Right? So now we can see that the graph has a horizontal compression of two, and the graph is being shifted to the left one half, not being shifted to the left one. And that's what the people that are not here are going to put on their quiz or test. I guarantee it. It's not being shifted to the left one, it's being shifted to the left one half. Now, the tip to do this is whenever you guys have a B and an H, take whatever's inside of the function, right? Remember we talked about inside-outside functions. Take whatever's inside the function and just set it equal to zero. And then solve. So if you like factoring, do factoring. There's no problem with it. But if you get stuck and you don't like fractions and you know, you're confused, just set it equal to zero. X is equal to negative one-half. Now what that's telling you is if the old x, act, it, now what's telling you is the graph is being shifted to the left one half, okay? And again, you don't need to believe me just because I'm your teacher. Take a look at graphing technology. Here is the parent function. Do you guys see how it did not get shifted to the left? One, it got shifted to the left. One half, right? I wouldn't lie to you. 